Park. It's white, neutral white. Drive is like an aqua blue teal kind of color. And then reverse red. And then your signaling is in green. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing well today. Saturday again. And if you guys are new here, this is Hugh. And we usually do videos on reef tanks and things like that. But we got this. Uh, Tesla and there's so many accessories for this car it's keeping me kind of busy installing new things every now and then but uh today I got this from uh Tesloid now with the Tesla if you guys are new to Tesla there's nothing in front right here um like a traditional car where the speedometer is uh letting you know uh, which gear you're in and how fast you're going and things like that even like turn signals and all of that nothing's in front everything's on this screen and it kind of forces you to look right to look in this general area right here to get your uh, information that you need like your uh, your vehicle speed and all of that it took a little getting used to but I kind of got used to it, but I don't really drive this car all too much. Um, my wife drives it, but this thing right here is uh, pretty plug and play and it looks like it's going to take me like 15 minutes to get everything installed, but um, let me get it open for you guys so you can see. All right, inside the box, it's a little display. It's very very compact and sleek right here it goes in between this area right here the gaps where your AC flows through it slides in between and you run the, the wiring uh, one of two ways let me show you you could either run the wire once you have it set in place right here you could either run the wire down this um, trim right here and then you run it along the door sills and then somehow into the back and let me show you guys in the back right here right under here um you could take this cover off and there's a wiring harness right there that you kind of tap into and when you tap into that you get all of the information that you need when you're signaling your gear selection your miles per hour all of that relays into the little display but let's get back to the box so inside the box is the display right here small compact this uh, wiring harness that you plug and play and they give you a little uh, pry tool so you could pry your trim open and the instructions instructions right here it's in Chinese but don't worry I'll do a walkthrough for you guys so you guys can see this, this. all right so I got the pry tool pry this open right here Gonna take it off but then right here's another piece we're gonna pry that off as well because the wire is gonna run through right here up this little I don't think you need to pry this part off let's see all right the little displays right here there's no screws or tape or anything like that it's held on by um, pressure from your dash I guess there's a little give as you can see right here but um we're going to slide it in and it's just going to hold into place. Uh, I tried to line it up with the steering wheel right in the middle. We'll slide it in like that. And that's pretty much in. Uh, let's see. All right, I pushed it in a little bit. So it's kind of concealed on the camera. I cannot even. It just looks like a blank void to me. But I, I got the, the wire a little tight in here. So it's not all noticeable, you know? So I ran it th through this crevice right here. And it's like that. And then 
down to here and then I'm gonna follow this line right here and kind of tuck it in underneath as you can see all right guys wires right here it's tucked in I could use the tool and push it in more but I could leave it like that and then I got to here we can wrap it around and then tuck it underneath here until we get to the bottom I wanted to show you the corner right here I tucked it into the corner and it just went through and the wires here now and then we're just gonna continue to tuck it up here and make it all the way back to the port right there all right this entire part right here is very easy to push in because it's very loose so it took me like five seconds to get all the way in and the wires back here already so we'll get back there right now and see where it lands all right to pry this bottom piece off i started in the center i started in the center right here and i got the tool in and you slide it over to this way until the clip releases because this thing wraps around and I couldn't get my fingers or arms in there but get it right here and then slide it across and you're gonna get the side clip off right here and then you can reach in with your fingers and then pry that out all right guys the wires the wiring for me is gonna be right here and then we're gonna tuck it in um, it's gonna have a little wiring exposed. I didn't want to run through the door sill and then figure out how to Go under the carpeting and everything and get to this area right here I'm gonna do it this way for now. If I don't like it, I'll, I'll redo it. It's just plug-and-play but um to get this harness on and everything You need to uh, Turn off your car or power off your car. Let me show you guys how to do that. All right, to power off your Tesla, you go to safety right here. And then go all the way down and right here has power off. All right, everything's off. And then now we're gonna unplug this. All you gotta do is uh, press right here and then pull it apart all right we got it apart so one male side and one female male side and then this is the harness right here that goes in between all it is is it's tapping the harness to give you the wiring to your display you plug female in with the male and right here until it clicks and then the other end, you, you slide it in as well. I only got two hands, so pause this real fast to get it in for you guys. All right, the harness is in. And all we got to do is connect our display plug with the pigtail right here. Should be good to go. I just uh, bunched up the wire and slid the cover on so everything's behind here right now. You can see the wiring right here. It's all tucked in. So right now let's power on the car and see how everything is. All right, I got my cover back on and everything. And the car's powered up. And um Everything is on right now. I just turned it on. This turned on. It showed me 43%. On camera, it's flickering, but it's because of the the LED and um, the LED display and the camera frame rate. But to my eye, it's not flickering at all. You got that P right there for park. I'm sitting back like this. Here you go. Zoomed in. The frame rate was different, I guess. So I zoomed it out. And you see right there, it says 43%. And right here has 43%. And it has P for park. Right here, I have P for park. Let's see. We'll push this up for reverse. 
you see right there it has a red indicator for reverse just push it down for drive and then you see right there it's kind of bluish bluish green like an aqua d right there for drive and here's drive i'm pretty amazed <laughs> it's not too much i think it's about 100 bucks i'll leave a link in the description but it's about 100 bucks and like 20 minutes to uh route everything it's plug and play you don't need to splice anything let me put this in park so there's no <laughs> beep but yeah it's like a hundred bucks you don't need to splice anything it's plug and play uh like 20 minutes to install most of that was routing the the cabling um there's many options to route your cabling you could take everything apart and hide the cable but i did it really quick and i have a little portion exposed right here to my uh to my right right by the glove box but we can always change that nothing's permanent permanent so let's take a drive and see how the speedometer works okay let's put this in let's... let's put this in drive it says 43 but let's see 43 is for the battery okay when you're when you're at zero it will give you your battery percentage but when once you're rolling and your display shows a uh, mileage per hour the display changes so right here i this is so awesome i love it we're just gonna go around the block and back but uh the other thing I wanted to check was the signaling, if it turns on. Oh yeah, you see the signaling on the left right there indicates, and the right, there's a left and a right. It's pretty cool. Turn this around. awesome all right guys i have to do i had to do this video over again because uh originally when it was on uh i had the the camera set at the the phone the camera set at uh, no zoom and it was flickering so i zoomed it out and then it's it wasn't flickering when i zoomed it out but um when it's zoomed out so far out and this thing is um so minimal that when you're watching the video you don't even really see it but right now i have it zoomed in at 2x right here and then i'm gonna show you on the side right here i closed it up everything um the wiring i ran it up and there's a little crease up there that you can run the wire it's pretty much hidden you see a little bit of the wire right here but I feel like I could live with that, you know? So right here, there's the display, but check it out. When I zoom out, I sent the video to my buddies and he's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't see anything. And it's this thing right here. It's so minimal that you don't realize it. And that's what I, I like about it as well. So zoom in and we'll turn the car on. Here, see when I step on the brakes showing 53% and then up here is 53% put it into reverse it's neutral it's white reverse red drive it's like an aqua blue color and then I didn't want it beeping while I'm doing the video, so I'm gonna close it, put my seatbelt on and everything. But here you go. I have it in park, I'm gonna put it on drive. It's 
Austin Drive right now, and then I wanted to show you guys the signaling. You see it right there. Signaling right, and zoom out. Zoom in so you guys can see it again. Right, and then left. Pretty much everything, this uh, display showing on the right right here, it's just heads up right in front of you. So easy to see and not noticeable, you know. So here, I have hazards on, both for blinking. I have it off right here. Let me turn this off. And then right now it's uh, showing 53%. Because I have 53% battery right here. Zoom out. Once you start rolling, driving, I have it under drive, so I'm gonna take off right now. Right there, 53. So once it starts rolling, as soon as this thing right here shows one, your display will show one. Whatever your display shows, your screen shows, your display will show. So right here, it's, uh, you see it. Rolling. Let's see. It's taking the readings from the OBD sensor. But yeah. I really like it a lot because it's like minimal. You don't really notice it until you know what you're looking for. I showed the video to a couple of my friends and they said they couldn't see anything. They asked me what am I talking about? But here it is. It's all right here. All right drive around the cul-de-sac right here but um yeah they were asking me what i was talking about so i had to refilm everything so we'll turn it right here very inexpensive 20 minutes 20 minutes to install most of it was running the wires um you have multiple choices on how you want to run the wires and nothing is like permanent you don't need to splice wires or anything like that um, if you don't like it you can uninstall it this whole thing was mounted on by pressure uh, you didn't need to screw anything on or make any um, permanent modifications to the car itself but um I really like it and it's very well thought out the coloring of the gear selection to displaying the the percentage of your battery life I got a 53 right here I really like it and it's very compact price I think right at around a hundred bucks Things well worth it and this whole thing uh, I feel like Tesla should have built this in there's a gap right here so I'm gonna zoom out again so you can see it's very minimalistic it fits very well into the styling of the minimalistic design of the Model 3 and Model Y you can see right there it's just right there right in the center heads up display so you don't gotta look to your right all of the time and kind of view it right here. It's just right in the center, so you can put your attention on the road and everything like that. But yeah, super nice. I love it. Thank you, Tesloid, for sending this out. Um, I like the display, all of the different colors and everything that they put into it. It could have just been one plain color, but yeah, see right here again. Park, it's white, neutral, white. Drive is like an aqua blue, teal kind of color. And then reverse, red. And then your signaling. It's 
reds and green. It's awesome. All right, guys. If you guys are interested, check out the link in the description. Check them out. Uh, see if you like it. And until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.